I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to uh, with regards to agenda item A, uh, I want to be uh, clear this is a moment for the uh, board to make an announcement and the board will be having a discussion about endorsing a statement regarding the matter of James Quilty. Uh, we will not be taking comments from the public uh, for this portion of the meeting. So we will just be uh, basically making a statement and moving on to agenda item B. Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. The Town of Natick strives to be transparent and as timely as possible with all updates provided to the residents of Natick and the public at large. We are providing this timeline and accompanying documentation in an effort to summarize all shareable facts as the law permits, given multiple active legal, legal proceedings pertaining to this incident. We fully appreciate the significance and sensitivity of this matter. We are confident that this timeline illustrates our earnest attempt to balance transparent communications and the realities of due legal process. Uh, this document is uploaded in Novus Agenda. It was uh, pasted on the news section, which is the front page of the Natick MA uh, website. So it is available, including that detailed timeline of events uh, relating to this matter. And so continuing with this statement, the select board by its vote this evening affirms and adopts this statement. The Natick Select Board further offers the following statement regarding this matter. One, the Town of Natick and its Select Board strongly and unequivocally condemn acts of sexual harassment and sexual assault. The Board supports Natick's employment policies designed to protect the privacy and interests of all parties and which foster a safe work environment where employees are trained to understand what behavior is deemed illegal and or inappropriate, and where victims or those witnessing such behavior are able to report such incidents without fear of intimidation, retribution, or shame. Number two, the town of Natick seeks to promote transparency but, most, but must also adhere to strict rules and procedures to ensure that its actions do not violate any individual's rights to privacy or legal <coughs> due process and do not expose the town to legal liability. In that context, the Natick Select Board continues to work diligently with Council, the Town Administrator and the Natick Police Chief to review and release information to the public as we can. Recent press coverage about the Quilty matter lacked some details and context which, for legal reasons, cannot be shared and thus did not necessarily align with the reporting schedule or editorial choices of the press. As evidenced by the timeline shared by the press statement of November 1st, the select board and or its chair, working in collaboration with council, the administration and the police chief, has been actively apprised of the Quilty matter and or involved in both the investigations of this matter since June 2020, the height of the pandemic, and the ongoing responses undertaken as additional facts have emerged. The Natick Select Board continues to reserve its right to administer future disciplinary action regarding this matter. Number three, the town and the Natick Select Board consider many factors before releasing certain types of documents and or taking disciplinary action. Regarding the release of information, such as executive session meeting minutes or investigation reports, whether they are public or not is governed, is, is governed by the general laws, case law, and the board's determinations concerning whether it is legally able to release this type of information. Some examples include, will the release of the information adversely affect criminal or civil litigation now or in the future? Will the release of information inadvertently harm the reputation of anyone not directly involved? Will the release of information expose the town and or its employees to criminal or civil liability? Regarding the discipline of police officers, the authority uh, to discipline rests with the chief and the appointing authority, in Natick's case, the select board. Each disciplinary matter is considered separately and each is handled individually. When discipline is before the select board, it considers the advice of the police chief and council and evaluates the facts and law which apply to each situation, including things such as the availability of witnesses, the evaluation of the strengths and weaknesses of each case, and how such case may hold up when challenged in the civil service process or more likely through arbitration. The select board understands that if its disciplinary action is overturned in arbitration, the result is typically a return to duty of the alleged wrongdoer and restoration of their pay and status, even in cases where the allegations might have been true, but the punishment was deemed too severe by the arbitrator. <laughs> Number four, the select board believes that every member of the community should feel safe and have 100% confidence in our public servants and their leadership, whether by title or by example. 
Earning the trust of our community members and fellow Natick employees relies on the town's continuing commitment to training its employees, holding them accountable, and fostering a culture of transparency and continuous improvement so that such rare situations no longer taint anyone's trust in the town, <coughs> including its staff, and especially those in departments of public safety, governance, <laughs> governance yeah. and administration. Given the ongoing nature of this matter, including current and future litigation, the Natick Select Board will continue to collaborate with the administration and police department to determine the appropriate time or times and manner in which it shall respond further. Okay, at this time, uh, I'd like to invite the public. We do have a moment uh, called Public Speak. Uh, we do invite the public to uh, come up for citizens' concerns. An individual may raise an issue that is not included on the agenda and it will be taken under advisement by the board. There will be no opportunity for debate during this portion of the meeting. The section of the agenda is limited to 15 minutes and any individual addressing the board during this section of the agenda shall be limited to five minutes. Hey, good evening everyone. My name is Jeff Besson. I'm a Natick resident. Um, I wanted to um, make, say a few words about the James Quilty matter. Um, yeah, yeah, I sorry. realize that that's you, well. You, you may not. Okay. Is, that is an agenda item that is on tonight. Um, you can. I've as said prior to this meeting, we yeah. will not be entertaining. If you have anything else to say during public speak, you're welcome to do so. I'm just so. confused. I mean, it, presumably the policy exists because there was already an opportunity to speak about it, but there it was not, on the agenda, uh, and it, it it is on the agenda. Yeah. And board prerogative to decide if we are allowing public speak on that matter and we are not. We are making a board statement in response to public airing of information that was in our opinion not fully represented. We took this advantage, uh, took advantage of our public meeting to provide further context for the community and that's where it stands. That is, this is a matter that is still un undergoing litigation and as I think we said pretty clearly in a three-page statement, yeah. we will respond at a time that makes sense. So I apologize, uh, but please have a seat. We are not having a discussion right now. I'm, Thank I'm you. not looking for a response. I'm just I'm, looking to say something. And we appreciate that, but I've already ex explained at the beginning of this session that we will not be entertaining conversation. And, and part of what's disturbing about this issue is the public's please been locked out of talking about please it. Please have a seat. I, is I'm there going to be a future opportunity that the public can address this? It's not board on, on the this? agenda. You're welcome to come up and present to the board during public speak. We are right. not talking about that. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Anybody else here for public speak? <laughs> 